Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs, how are we today? Hello! Hi! How are we doing? Welcome to Bricks and Coffee! 12! Oh boy, that's 12 episodes! Yo! Yeah, you like you few in the back, yeah, thank you! Pre thanks for coming, social distancing, am I right? Alright, awesome, yes! These guys are my biggest fans, I tell you. What's up? What is up? Welcome to Bricks and Coffee. Mm. The slurp of the morning, am I, am I right? Good morning. How are we doing? So many people in the chat today. What is going on? Is that the title? Are we discovering the conspiracy theory of just a good being a human? What is that? Ethan, uh, Bricks Towers boy, Christian. Timothy, my bricks and me. Shout out to big, big shout out to members in the chat. The green names are there. Street, David. Uh, who is there? Who else is there? What's up? Uh, Nathan Bricks is here as well. Big shout out to the members. Appreciate it. Xarogath is here as well. Uh, all right. Awesome. Thirty-one watching. What is happening? Where is my Where is my viewer account? By the way, it's gone. I don't know. Anyway, good morning, Daniel. Uh, Brick Star Wars boy again, Ethan. How are you guys today? Coffee in Hand Productions, Classic Bricks. I'm trying to read everyone. Vladimir Ring Strasse. Ring Strasse. It's a German. Granaikia ad. You guys got ads in front of the stream? I mean, it's monetized, but I, I didn't click any ads. I wonder if that's YouTube playing them. Broston. Uh, outsider. Whoa, so many people. Thank you. Hello. Hi. Oh my god, a super chat. I not even started yet. Thank you, Nathan Bricks. Filipino 250 pesos, number one fan. Yes, you are. You're in the like he's actually here in the he's he's actually here. Hey, can you clap? All right, yeah, that's you, Nathan Briggs. He's right here. He's right here. Thank you for the super chat right in the beginning. Appreciate the support. Uh, wow, wow, wow! I'm just looking at my screen. Why am I so red in this in the camera? Am I red? Maybe it's just the sunlight, because my window is partially open and I'm not blacked out. My blackout shade is not fully engaged. Uh, hypey, hypey, hypey super sticker. You guys don't see it in the screen, but it's a, it's a number one fan jumping, whatever that is, pier? I don't know. YouTube has those super stickers. Thank you very much. Big hype. Um, let's see. Oh my god, I have so many tabs open. So you guys probably know this is gonna be a big episode. Is the music good, by the way? Is the because I, my headphones might be too 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 quiet. Let me see if I can adjust it. But I think we're good. Not too loud. Not too over over overwhelming. Music, little vibes, little funky vibes in the back. All right. Woo! Win of the week. Any wins of the week? How how you guys um, handling the week so far? It's been good for me. I mean. Uh, we did the Winnie the Pooh set yesterday, which is... Uh, I don't have it right here because I actually gave it to my kids, so they were playing with it uh, after my stream. And they love it, they love it. I actually, there is a review recorded, so I want to ask you guys, because I, I have the review ready, it's ready to go. Would you like to see it, like, today-ish, after the stream? Uh, should I schedule it, or do you want to see it tomorrow morning? I mean, I don't want to, like, you know... Uh, spam me with too much content. There is never too much content, I know, but Let me know in the chat if you want to see the review today or should I schedule it for the morning? Because what I can do, I can do the vlog for the morning. I, I have the... Uh, blah, blah. I have the... 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 the, the uh, desert... desert camping vlog. Today is good. You guys gonna watch it? Are you sure? Is that a... is that a promise? If I don't see 100 views in the first 12 minutes, you guys lied to me. After the stream. Alright. Both. Ah, twice? Should I post it twice? Sure. I mean, more views, the merrier. Am I right? 
Today is good. All the content. Every piece of content. I'm starting to dislike the word content for some reason. I don't know. It's like content this, content that. Like content. Content. Do it. It's... I don't know. Do you guys start to dislike the word content? How do you... How do you call whatever YouTuber does in a different way? He does content. Maybe... He makes videos. I don't know. Content. Content. Yeah. I start to dislike this word the more I use it. <laughs> Enjoy the coffee. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're getting to the news right away. Um, with a long intro as usual. Just brew it fresh. So that's why I was late a bit like... I was late two minutes because I was waiting for my uh, coffee to, to... For my milk to froth. Hello, Classic Bricks. How dare you give an 18 plus set to children? I know, I don't know, I broke the rules. I think I'm banned from Lego now. <laughs> Cut it in five parts and post every day. That might be a good idea because the review is 17 minutes long. I'm sorry. I don't know. When I sit down and talk about the set, I'm like, cool, that sounded very coherent and quick. And then I put it in the edit and it's 17 minutes. I'm so sorry. I don't know, I just talk too much. Are you guys okay with 17 minutes? It's 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 it should be shorter. It should be like an eight minute review, but it's 17. I don't know why. I have no idea. Guys. I just talk too much. I just talk too much. Anyway, I I decided to just put it out there, upload it, didn't cut the 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 long talky parts. I probably repeat myself five times or seven times at least. <laughs> Either is good, but I can only watch it tomorrow as I'm basically out of lunch. As long as you watch it, I'm good. <laughs> Love long reviews. All right. Because I've seen a lot of people posting shorter, uh, more like edited format reviews. And I, I, I personally kind of enjoy them because more, more information the mer you know, quick, in a quicker format. But you know, I'm, I'm more like a junk type of guy who, who watches like his long reviews, for example. So I guess that kind of resonates with me in a way which I just don't cut myself short when when I want to talk about things I'm just talking about things I'm just gonna record it so I don't try to like run a timer next to my camera like oh my god I'm late you know um, so I hope you guys enjoy it but yeah sometimes I try to make videos shorter just just for the sake of your time but it's just you know I, I get into the flow of talking about stuff and finding new little things and then I just like ends up being 17 minutes so, for a landmark set, yeah, like, but it, it feels weird for me because it's it's not a big set. It's just over, you know, 1,200 pieces, uh, but it's 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 a standout set. Yes, that's true. Um, so it's kind of, you know, it's important set, actually. What chair do I use? Uh, this is the um, Respawn uh, Sidewinder, I think. Respawn Sidewinder. It just came out this year. They they released the Spectre, which is more like a mesh office chair, ergonomic for really good like back support. This one is more like a full back support and, and high back, because I, I used to have like pains in my neck and, and in the back because I was slouching too much while editing. So now this chair really eliminated those. It's a yeah respawn si sidewinder, I believe. Uh, all right, let's get to the news, shall we? There is like I'm, I'm just like talking to you and looking at all the tabs. I have to I gotta figure out the uh, the order of, of things. Oh, 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 I know how to start. Uh, okay, that's perfect actually. I know how to start. Hold on. All right, ready? Oh yeah, this is good. This is great. This is how I start. This guy basically stole my look. Wait. This is this way. I mean, he got the same frames, almost. I mean, same style. That... He stole my look. Look at this guy. How is he? Am I? Am I? Am I doing this right? Am I? Is that? He stole my look. Not only. He became the only person I know that transformed from from uh, Mantis to a human being. Can you imagine? And now he's a, he's a human. And he stole my look. 
Anyway, just want to bring it up real quick. I want to congrat Justin. Um, congratulations, man, because we talked about it, like, you know, um, in uh, in a few streams lately, because it was it was kind of a big deal in the LEGO community, because this guy was was Amantis, be be behind the, the Shroud of Amantis, for how many years? Oh my goodness. Uh, and and now he's he's like free from that shell, you know. What prompted the face reveal? So you know what, like this is an interesting topic. I think like if you want to go deeper into this. Uh, I knew Justin uh, before, like I didn't know him very well personally, but I met him and uh, from our brief conversations. He seemed like a really nice guy and I, I think I did ask him like, what's up with the mask? And he was so committed that like, dude, that's not a mask, that's my head, <laughs> you know. Um, I think, well, he first of all, he, he, he evolved, that's obvious, right? But also he grew as a creator and doing such a long journey on YouTube as Justin has and, and still ongoing. Um, I think that you kind of get to the point where you want to be more happy for you than for your audience, which is like a, a very healthy realization. And it's always like that, like I'm, I have the same mindset. I want to be happy first while making content. So you guys are happy seeing me making content. So like my content is more energetic and more, um, you know, more in line with myself. And I think that's where Justin reached the point when he, like the mask was a burden, like not only because he was, he, he was, he, he had to com constantly think about hiding his identity, but also like that was, that was, that was a burden, something. So like, it was always like taking the camera probably like, oh, okay, I gotta wear the mask, right? Um, and second of all, like also workflow because he was actually, you know, he couldn't record voice in his mask. So he was actually shooting his like himself in the mask and then recording audio after, which is, you know, do it to, for too long and it's kind of crazy. Um, and I think he just said like, you know, screw it. Like I want to be like, I'm not happy with this in this uh, person of mine. And, you know, he chose to go like with that. He even... Um, kind of said before that he would reveal face at some point but I'm what I'm happy about the most is that he's so confident in this he's not like you know like oh my god what's gonna pull thing he just like nailed it he went for it he winged it and and he did it in the best way and like look at his views right now uh, it's it's like his content is great still his content is great still but I think like that actually helped him because people are more like I think they be, people became more connected to him right now, uh, and it's good because you know having a person behind the whole the whole gimmick of, of the mantis was awesome. But like in the end, having the person behind the content is is even more beneficial, you know, than having like a long running gimmick. Um, so I'm happy for him. I'm happy for this dude. Uh, he's been showing up on on, on hashtag cancel just too good. <laughs> um, he was showing up in, in community live streams more. He was at Sai O'Connor's. I joined those streams. Maybe you, some of you watched it, but I joined Sai O'Connor's. The Sai O'Connor's was, wasn't actually streaming this week, but there was a, a London Bridge Bricks. Uh, he was on Beyond the Brick for a sec, I believe. Um, not, I don't think as a, as a, as a human yet, but, but yeah, he's been, he's been connecting more with community members than, than before. And I think he feels more, more free that way. He feels more... Uh, you know, he doesn't have to think about it like I have to hide myself and it's I think it's great I think it's a very healthy way to to go about it <laughs> He stole Mike's look lol hashtag So what do you guys think of course? I mean, it's it's not like the freshest news But I think it's a it's a good like case study of a creator really um, You know growing in his own um, environment and and being confident about himself and he's a cool dude still very much so and he's he's been cool before the mask and after the mask lift off you know um i'm happy for him i'm just i'm just like as a colleague as a friend as a as a fellow content creator i am happy for this guy and i think there is a that was a really good decision and a a, a very good bunch of reasons that he did that and you're gonna see him grow even further after that you're gonna see him basically like, a lot, I've seen a lot of comments in his videos, um, you know, showing showing how, like, uh, like how happy he is. Uh, people say, like, you seem, like, so happy, you know? 
he has so much energy when he took the mask off. You see, like, people just commenting and, and agreeing with what I just said, that he's just more happy, you know, uh, that way. I think he's just more happy, and I, I, can, I can relate. I know how limited, if you, if you, if you uh, commit to something and it becomes limiting to you, um, so people are very supportive. If, if it becomes limiting to you, uh, it, 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 it affects your happiness, it affects your workflow, it affects your drive to create. I have this myself, like when I when I commit to something too much, I'm saying like, I'm gonna make the best b-roll on the planet, for example, and I, and I like, and it doesn't make me happy in the end, because like, oh my god, this is like too much work, for example, which I feel sometimes. And I, if, I, if I continue doing it, it's like, man, like that does make me happy, you know? So, and it's finally Justin, not just the good, yes. So, really happy for this guy. Uh, shout out to big to, to, to Justin and, and for the decision. And it, it's big, it's, it's good, it's good. And, and let's, let's be very supportive of him. And I'm gonna, you know, still watch his journey and watch his videos and continue to see him grow. So big shout out. Uh, okay. That's a big, that's a big topic. Like I think it was it was fun to talk about, really. Good morning, Roland. Welcome. How are you doing? We have people joining. Awesome. 805 is here as well. I didn't see that. Um, maybe I did, but I didn't didn't notice. Thank you. And he left LAN. Um, also a very, uh, I guess, mature decision. He just I I don't know. Like I don't. He he did some. Hold on. He did some posts. I think he did some posts on his channel. Why this happened? Um, hold on. It's, it's also a topic for today because he was... He didn't really acknowledge officially that he left LAN, I believe. He, did, he didn't post like any community post or anything, but, uh, but he left on his own decision. Uh, before he left, he actually was was voicing for. Um, but oh, there's a, there's a poll that I, I kind of want to see this video actually because there is a poll on his channel asking what's the video is next, and I I, I answered why I left the ambassador network. So he did left it. He did leave it, uh, and he's gonna make a video about it. Before he left, he actually pushed the change the the the. The cancellation of that policy that we cannot talk about rumors. He was he was the spearhead of that conversation with Lan, and he succeeded. So, yeah, Lan is no longer restricting. We can actually talk about it right now. Lan is no longer restricting the text-based rumors. So you can see all of the websites in the Lan. Everybody just took a fresh breath of air of some sort, like or like a woo. That was close, you know. And people started actually, well, finally reporting back about text-based rumors. And I think Justin was the one who really opened that conversation window with LAN network. And uh, oh, that's my chat on the side. And um, and May succeeded, so they agreed. So that's awesome. And then he left. Uh, and I, that, that was purely his, his personal decision. Um, because I think he grew so much that he felt restricted within the LAN or maybe too constrained to what he wanted to create in a way. Maybe he didn't have want to have this sort of like an umbrella above him, even though they do provide free sets, they do provide product support. But in the end, he's such a big creator that he doesn't really need that as much as smaller creators do, for example, right? Oh, he said a lot on the live stream. I did not watch it. I'm sorry. Yeah. So I, I did, uh, I, I was part of London Bridge Brick stream and he was talking about it for a bit, but I didn't watch his own stream fully. That was the day I wasn't able to watch. So yeah, I guess go watch his stream. Like, uh, I'm just speculating here. He probably has a better answer uh, than I do, but I, it's just my opinion, how I understand it. But yeah, I, I, I agree that I did not watch the stream, so I don't, I should not be building that crazy of an opinion. But um, that's how I feel about it from my side, honestly. He acknowledged it on his Marvel Leaks video, was super surprised, but the video, as I didn't see the live stream reveal. Oh, okay, I see. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna direct you guys to his actual... I, actually, I, I should watch it myself. Um, I think that's the live stream, yeah, the three hour, four, four hour live stream. So that's what he probably talks about it, right? Um, and yeah, he said his age, he's like 23, I think. Mm -hmm. I think he said his age, yeah. There is no more hiding, Justin. Everything is out there <laughs> at this point. You show your face, you become public, and you, everybody knows everything about you. 
that's pretty much it um yeah happy for this for this guy super cool and let's 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 move on <laughs> good for him freeing himself from so many things that were obviously weighing him on down so for so long exactly that's like a good summary outsider that's what i that's how i feel like it's a general summary of that shang chi sets i think so yeah we're gonna talk about it as well okay i got a bunch of things lego that cam just move the chat oh that's good okay uh lego that cam uh you, know, you guys know what we're doing every every sunday right bonsai tree <laughs> like it's gonna be a year from now It's gonna be like, I don't know, March 2023, and like, You guys, remember when the bonsai tree was back in stock? Exactly. Change is constant. Of course, yes. Out of stock. Okay, move on. <laughs> anyway, um... Oh, I think Winnie is actually sold out too, right? Checking just the status of lego.com. Winnie! Hey Winnie, what's up Winnie? Uncle, my, my cousin Winnie. That was a great movie, actually, with Joe Pesci. Um, yep. Oh boy. Yeah. So I guess I was lucky, huh? Get it? Yeah, I got it locally too. Yeah, yeah. They had plenty, so buy locally. Yes. <laughs> uh, all right. Beautiful set. Actually, like it's up. Uh, it's my kids' uh, play area, and they love it. I. They actually love it. I think they're watching the cartoons from Disney Plus actually tonight. So that's awesome. Lego is a corporation that it will also be. Um, LAN is part of the Lego and therefore beholden to corporate. Exa yeah, that, that is true, Pink Wheels. Welcome to the chat, by the way. Yes, that's we talked about it before. Like, I, I'm not even uh, denying that LAN is a marketing tool. Even though Lego wants to deny it, they won't really tell you. But even like in my rejection email, they said like, yeah, we're not really looking for like marketing influence in you guys, but... You're more like an influencer, and we don't want influencers, and we want more community map builders in Legoland, and like, yeah, right, you want influencers, you want marketing people to do the job for you. That is what LAN is, like, let's be honest here. Uh, in, in, like, not the demo, like in the entire part, in the entirety, but it is, in most part, a, a marketing tool. Free marketing agents doing free content for some product support, let's be honest. Um, and well, it's like you're not like an employee, but you're almost like an employee and you have to abide by a bunch of rules And that's how it's gonna be and that's how it is Mike at 57 How do you know I'm not at 57 already? I'm old, not that old though 45 watching? Oh my god Ugh. Production, are we good? We have We have 45 people watching Make sure nothing breaks right now, please Oh, the coffee is so good this morning. Wow. All right. So this is that. I think you still have the promos. Um, what? What? Oh, yeah. So we got the, the little bunny. I think this one's still available, but Winnie is, is out of stock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I think Reward Center, I tried to like, they have, the, the pictures are not working on my website for some reason. But yeah, they used to have the sketches. For 750 points, I, 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 I don't know why the pictures are not loading. But they had the sketches and they're sold, <laughs> they're gone. <laughs> I didn't get any, did you guys get any? They're, they're gone, like wow, this set is popular. So maybe I should actually push this review today because this set is so popular. Anyway, boom, bada beam, bada boom, bada bam, bada beam, bam. Yo, this is big. I mean, we kind of were, uh, we knew about it kind of, but we were not sure, now we're sure. The UCS Republic gunship is coming out this year. Yes. Woo! Awesome. Awesome! Happy for that one. Um, even though it was my first choice, I wanted the Nebulon B so badly. And I hope Nebulon B will come out at some point. But... Oh boy. Yeah, so we don't know. I, I don't think they confirmed any window. So we have, for those of you who do not know, two launches of UCS sets per year. There's one in spring, which should be happening, uh, usually it's like what, April or May, or Memorial Day usually? May the 5th? May, <laughs> May the 4th. 
usually, right? May the 4th is the, the first UCS launch of the year for, for the 4th Friday. Uh, not the 1st Friday, it's just May the 4th. Um, and the second one is in fall, like October, right? So I wonder if that's gonna be this launch like a month from now, you know? Uh, that would be awesome. May the 4th, okay. So yeah, no Jedi Bob, disappointing, I know. Um, but like, they, they had some cool info because this is coming from uh, from a conversation with LEGO Star Wars designers and the fan media who were invited for an for a, uh, interview. Uh, selected fan media from LAN were invited to talk to, the, to those guys. And Hans Schlumer is the designer, big deal. Well, he did he did do um, the Falcon. I, I actually interviewed him on Beyond the Brick about the A-Wing. Yes, you, you guys can go watch it. There is an interview on Beyond the Brick when I talked to Hans about the A-Wing. It's it's I think it's a pretty good interview. I hope I did a good job. But yeah, the guy is really good uh, when it comes to those things. And like, love the A-Wing. Like, he did the Falcon. He did the Falcon. That's the guy. So we can be assured, rest assured, that this is going to be a good set. All right? So that's a good, big good news. Uh, and I think he also, he also, I did he do the mishap? Did he do the Hoth battle? Um, he did the Raider, he did the Darth Vader's castle, yes, we talked about it with him, I believe. Uh, the droid gunship, uh, the medical chamber, oh yeah, he did the Cloud City, so that, that I think that I mean, he got a bit of slack for that, because not, not many people like really this set that much, but he did the Falcon, he did those play sets, uh, the, yeah, he did the Krennic shuttle, great set as well. Didn't he do the, ho that wasn't that him? Oh yeah, he did the Assault on Hoth, yes. So this guy is like... <laughs> he gets like most hated sets in Star Wars community or most beloved ones. So I, I hope the gunship is not on the dip, you know? Um, if you think about it. But yeah, just re like his recent is the, the A-Wing, which is great. It's amazing set. It's, I love it. I have it on my shelf. Uh, so good, good stuff from Hans. Uh, let's hope it's not another uh, battle of Assault on Hoth. Um, so we, we know that the cockpit will comprise of two 10 by 4 by 3 cockpit elements and these are large. These are large elements. Um, you know, so like you can kind of tell the scale of the ship. It's gonna be big. That's, by the way, can somebody find that, that video or that comment of me like when the gunship was, was voted in? I, I, I told you it's gonna be over minific scale because it's too big. Because those playsets that we had in the past are quite minific scale, actually. So the UCS one has to be bigger. Um, end to end, so like, you know, the two, like, the two canopies in the front, that will be that piece. Like, right here, like, this is gonna be it. Plus, the, I, I wonder if they're gonna make the custom bubbles for the, for the turret pods or something. Um... So, people are saying that because of that canopy piece uh, sizing, uh, the model will have about half a meter of, of, of length. Wow. That's, that's awesome, right? So, that's good. Um, based upon this image, we can say that it's like 50 to 55 centimeters. Uh, it was, it was it's about like, what, uh, 20 inches of sort. It was suggested that a small coffee table might be needed when displaying the model. Wow. Uh, presumably because of the substantial wingspan, which would roughly equal the length. Yes, yeah, so they, their wingspan is like about the, the length of the, of the ship. Furthermore, the design team confirmed that this vehicle would be inspired by its appearance during the Star Wars Episode 2 Attack of the Clones rather than the Clone Wars or Revenge of the Sith. Um, Jedi Bob will not be included. No other information at this time. I think like if it's, if it's planned for the May the 4th launch, I'm assuming it is because it's been in the works for a while now, so it's very, uh, it's very possible it's gonna be happening on May the fourth. Um, so we should see the announcement like imminent. Yeah. Are every the places according to Brickvault are oversized? Brickvault is is really striving for that minifigure scale, uh, and they do have the gunship, and I think yeah they compared it so. Uh, I think their, 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 their model is slightly smaller uh, in minifix scale. 
Yeah. Hans is a legend. He's like Mike Psiaki of Star Wars. Am I right? Yeah, it's gonna be a good set. Can't wait. Cannot wait. It sounds big. Yes. All right. So that's all. That's what we know. Uh, MNR did a video. He basically talks about the same things. Uh, it was a big deal by, you know, in the LEGO Star Wars community this week. Yes, everybody talked about it. Yes, it's coming. Yes. So if that's going to take the slot of the May the 4th, I, I do wonder um, if the 8080 is coming. Probably the 8080 will probably come out in in fall. Yeah. Phase 2 Cody. Yeah. I, I got, I mean, I, you know, I don't, the only thing I don't want to see about this set is... Um, I really do not want for this to to lack in minifigures. Don't you guys think? I I think like cause like looking at the A-wing, right? Okay, A-wing was like single single pilot starfighter. Yeah, we got the um the pilot. That was the only minifigure, right? Um plus the Imperial Star Destroyer, we got only two guys. Uh this is like this ship resembles more like a you know, a, a plethora of characters because it's about the Clone Wars. You can put a bunch of people in there that, you know, considering the success of the 501st Battle Pack, um, this thing should have a few clones, okay? And like Commander Cody, you guys saying, yeah, like Mace Windu. Um, yeah, please, because like look at the 75280 501st, right? Like this said, like sold like hotcakes. And people love those minifigures, and, and Clone Wars is still a big deal in the community, and this is the best ultimate... I know the Jedi Bob is not coming, but this is the ultimate uh, opportunity for LEGO to launch some awesome minifigures. Like some... yeah! Like, they can, they can do so good, they can make this set sell out in like 5 minutes. It can like, it can bring back the lines to the LEGO store, this set alone, you know? Like... I, I, don't, I don't I don't necessarily want it because like I don't want to have the situation of like trying to buy the Falcon in 2017, right? Well, like everybody's like, where's the Falcon? Everybody's sold out. Um, but still, I think it's gonna it's gonna create some lines. We'll see, we'll see soon, soon. I think if that's the May the fourth launch, which is very like it's very likely, it's very likely it's gonna be coming in May. We're gonna see announcement early April, most likely. Like a month, usually a month ahead, they do it. Mm -hmm. Broston, so do you know, like, it, it's confirmed? Only including Mace Window and a clone? Really? Well, that, if that's true, that's gonna suck a lot. I think they could do at least four minifigures in this one. Anyway, uh, we'll see. Probably a lot of people will be disappointed if that's the truth. Anyway, thanks for the rumors, appreciate it. People are for some reason disappointed that what UCS sets are, are about big detail builds, but with very few detailed minifigures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, it's nothing new. It's been like that for forever. Like, UCS sets just don't have a lot of minifigures and, you know, they're focused on the model. So I don't think we we are in position to ask for more minifigures in a, in a set like this, unfortunately. I think they're 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 doing some exclusive figs, but like looking at the UC, uh, Star Destroyer, those minifigures were lackluster as crazy. Like just two guys, like a commander and and and, a, and an officer. That's it, right? So those were lackluster given the eight hundred dollar set, like seven hundred dollar set, right? That's gonna suck a lot. Mm -hmm. We'll see. All right, moving on. We got sets by Hans, great, great designer. Uh, again, look at look at my my interview with him on Beyond the Brick. Uh, we talked about the A-wing actually. So if you wanna see the the mindset of a great designer, that's that's where you go. Um, okay, we got this. Okay, yeah, let's talk about that, shall we? Oh boy, this is gonna be a long episode. Oh my, oh my. I hope whoever's watching after, as a VOD, I hope you're enjoying because, well, if you finish your first coffee, get a, get a second one. It's gonna be a long one. I mean, I have time. I have time, we're good today. Um, Bricklink Designer Program reveals 31 projects. So, let's just get to the gist of it. Um, 
if you guys don't know, Bricklink Designer Program had the first phase few months, like what, before the pandemic actually, it was a long time ago. Um, wow, it's been over a year ago, wow, 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 wow. okay. <laughs> Uh, we had things like the Leuvenstein Castle, we had a bunch of cool things that were created under the brand of Bricklink with LEGO support. So you can, you know, that right now these sets are highly collectible. But it's coming back, it's called the Bricklink Designer Program 2021 Invitational. What they did, they invited a, 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 a group of LEGO Ideas designers who had their projects in the 10,000 Club, uh, in the 10,000 Club and got rejected in the review phases, right? Um, season Ogurkowy has ended, <laughs> yes, the pickle season has ended, all the good stuff, like, now the episodes will be like three hours long, welcome, enjoy the ride, I would say. Um, so they reached out to a bunch of members, 27 members agreed to participate, and uh, the, the team selected 31 projects to be into that platform, so we're gonna, it's gonna be the same thing, uh, right now in the pre-production phase, so the, 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 now it's, it's lasting until the end of May. Designers are invited and they will test build and refine the designs for production. And now from June 1st to August 10th, we're gonna be doing a, a crowdfunding. So last time it was it was basically a Kickstarter for each project. So we just, we just threw our money on the screen and decided which sets will become our actual box with bricks. Yes, Lego Kickstarter basic, exactly. I think they used Indiegogo right, last time, right? Like Lego used Indiegogo a few times. Uh, for Lego Forma, remember Lego Forma? They used Indiegogo to like uh, evaluate the project they, they came up with, with those fishes. I don't think it's, well, it, they created some sets, but haven't seen Indiegogo uh, or like Lego Forma ever since, am I right? <laughs> anyway, so but this, this was successful. So we, we crowdfund. As, as a community, we do crowdfund these projects. Some of these become an actual set you can buy. I think this time I'm actually buy some of these because last time I, I skipped and uh, uh, and I like just just actually like I'm gonna spoil it for you. He he got the castle from from that program. Like that's his clickbait. Good job, Justin. I you're actually a very good clickbait. It's not clickbait, okay? It makes you click, but it's not. It's, he's not like cheating on anything. But yeah, he got the the, the Lubenstein castle. Uh, and that's from Bricklink. That's the set. So I missed on that one. It's 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 probably the best castle that Lego made in years. Anyway, um, yeah, we're gonna talk about the projects in a second, and then production starts in September. Meanwhile, Bricklink is still riddle bugs and US in huge need. Yeah, I think ever since Lego took over, kind of, uh, they're updating stuff, but uh, it's a bit of a bumpy road. Lego Forma flashbacks. Okay, so you guys had some bad flashbacks from Lego Forma? I never was into Lego Forma, like, um, yeah, whatever. Made the four pieces R2D2. Strong rumor. Hmm, okay. All right, so, the, yeah, yeah, Brickset has a bunch of things, but I think we have better pictures on the actual Bricklink design pro designer program page. Boom, boom, boom. Big, by the way, big claps for Bricklink. This is good, this is good. I mean, we're, you're gonna see some amazing projects have a chance of getting there, which is awesome. All right, so let's see what they are. 31 projects, real quick, okay. Uh, train Station Stuttgart, Bricky Bricks 82. This one is actually beautiful. I mean, I think I was very sad that this never made it, but yeah seasons in time very good concept i think this one has a big shot at all this also people were like why didn't you make it like ideas brent waller the guy behind ecto one for example uh, and bricky bricks is that the guy behind um the police station design i don't know i think so uh 9050s dinner so that's awesome i mean it's gonna go very well with the um creator diner diner right uh, the Kakapo uh, Parrot, also, I mean, all of, like, selection is very strong, so I'm not gonna even try to select which ones I'm gonna support, but uh, it's gonna be a hard choice, like, you know, I'm gonna probably support some of these projects, in, in a way. Um, another chance of a great-looking castle, more like a, actually, like a, like a watch-out tower, 
but I, I don't really remember that one for some reason, but it's beautiful. But I don't think, yeah, like because we had the castle in the first run, um, this might not be selected by the fans as much, you know. Uh, the Winter Chalet, also beautiful. So the good thing about this program, by the way, is that there is no restriction. So modulars can make it. Uh, any, anything can make it, as long as, as we crowdfund it. Anything can make it. There is no like... They, they, already, they already kicked out all the IPs by selecting these. There are no IPs here. All, all of these are original non-IP designs. So there is no discussion if that can be made. There is no IP to be selected. But also there is no restriction on the form of the, the format of the set. So modulars like these, it's actually it's more like a dollhouse, okay? But you, you know what I'm saying. Uh, our, our, our game, our fair game. Uh, yeah, Winter Chalet. Uh, working Waterfall, that was cool. Like you can actually, yeah. <laughs> that was actually cool. Uh, the dive shop, strong uh, fishing store vibes old fishing store very cool uh legend of Bi oh 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 boy oh boy I, I didn't know bionicle is here oh boy people will be all over this one i uh, uh, i bet i mean <laughs> I, I wonder when hey ideas by the way when are we gonna be uh, informed about the 90th anniversary vote results hello it's been a month or more hello what is going on what is... Oh, man. What is going on, guys? Where is the 90th, like, re like uh, results? What, what is that? So, yeah, people will be all over this. Depending on those, probably, on those 90th anniversary vote results. If Bionicle doesn't win, people are like, <gasps> We still have a shot! You know, and get this. Great fishing boat. This one is beautiful. Actually, actually beautiful. Actually, like, I don't know. I want a boat. I want this boat. Um, the Brickwest Studios... Um, basically a, a piece of, I don't know, Universal Studios shooting set. Uh, Space Troopers, very cool actually, kind of like a newish design for the classic space in a way, of sorts. Uh, Pursuit of Flight by JK Brickworks, this guy, like, he's two-time, or three-time, two, no, two-time. Um, Lego Ideas designer with sets on shelves. And he's constantly doing amazing things. He actually does have another ideas project right now. I think it's the working ski lift right now in the in the ideas platform. So go go support. Like Jason is amazing. Like is he's my one of my inspirations for Lego. Like this guy is insane. Qual video quality, his builds quality. Love this dude to bits. Uh, a particle accelerator, a very cool project, but also by JK Brickworks. Right, so wow, we have two. I didn't not notice. Oh wow. And Bricky Bricks is also twice. Wait, I should I should check before. Oh, hold on. So Bricky Bricks is twice. Wow, and, and JK is twice as well. All right. So I think if I had to go with JK Brickworks design, I think this one has more appeal. But the uh, the Hadron Collider, you know, also is is pretty cool. But it's it's more like more like a scientific project than than anything else. It's more like a piece of like a great ball contraption in a way because it does have the balls, <laughs> kind of you know. Uh, Lego Store Modular, pretty cool. Again, fair game for modulars. Hey JB, hey Trent, how you doing, man? I do like that pursuit of flight. I do like it as well. Welcome to the chat. Blocksmith is here. Welcome members. Big shout out. Yeah. Yeah. Never be timber. All the members. Thank you guys for coming over, Trent. A blocksmith, Xarogaf was here as well before. Thank you, dude. Uh, JB, welcome to the chat again. Uh, awesome. Thanks, guys, for coming over. Appreciate you coming with uh, joining the my bricks and coffee little talk. Uh, ruined house. This one is, this one is kind of depressing, you know. <laughs> but it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I just don't think like, yeah, like it's beautiful, but it's kind of like dilapidated house. I know. And then we have the Lego Observatory, Mountain View, really cool. The, oh, I remember this one, the Exploratorium. So this was like, it's a steampunky kind of situation here. Um, I, I think it was basically too big for Lego Ideas. It's like super detailed, but I can see a bunch of fans going behind this one. Uh, steampunk is like a big deal, I guess. Uh, construction site, also a modular, very cool. 
Clockwork Aquarium is awesome as well. Yeah, I think he, yeah, it rotates like the fishes move. Um, so there are a bunch of good things. Oh, this one, was, I, I wanted this one so bad. The, the, the windmill, I remember this one. So I think I vouched for it quite a bit. And for this one as well, uh, because it has like a locking mechanism and uh, it's actual safe. Yeah, so there's plenty of good things to support, for sure. Anatomini, that was a big... Um, this thing, the fans were like kind of outraged it never made it because it's such a such a great concept and original design that could have been a great set, could have been a very great set. Temple of Hermit, uh, I thought I called it like too big for what it is, but it's like has good Ninjago vibes, uh, you know, Asian culture, all this stuff. Uh, Boathouse Diner, also uh, old fishing store vibes right here, so kind of similar to what we had in the up, you know, uh, above. Science Adventures, more like a, like a minifigure pack, so maybe too small, you know, maybe too small, I don't know, but mo it's more like a, one, of those, one of those like minifix packs from City, or maybe like a small Women of NASA set of sorts, right? Um, Japanese Old Style Architecture, also pretty cool, very like culture based. Uh, a retro bowling alley, nice. Yeah, I think there's a bowling alley like in the current ideas review stage right now as we speak. Uh, Venetian houses. There was another Venetian house set which was like much more detailed and I love this one as well. Uh, boat repair shop, a lot of boats in this one like that can go with old fishing store for some reason. And the quest builder, it's like a RPG like Dungeons and Dragons quest builder. So yeah, plenty of, like, I don't even want to choose right now which I'm going to support. But there are, there are some few good designs that can really make it. Like any of these, honestly, except this one. <laughs> no, just kidding. Uh, the boat, I think my vote would be for the boat or something. I don't know. There are so many good things. Or that tower, but we had the castle before in that lineup. The, the Lubenstein castle. Yeah, or like this one. Wow. The tr I think this one have a huge chance of winning. Because people love trains, and this one's just like generally beautiful. Um, hello, Tim. Uh, Wizard Tim from the UK on West Coast. They call me Tim. Remember the reference? Wizard Tim. They call me Tim. Well, it's from Monty Python. Oh, the price tag. Yeah. Um, right now, the I mean, they were kind of expensive. Uh, when the first round was up uh, and now like you look at Justin's video he got the castle for like 500 bucks it's crazy yeah they're gonna be they're gonna be pretty pricey like this one will be pricey most likely mountain windmill looks like right of Ico for those who play. I didn't play it no. the waterfall is a fun concept I'm not sure if it's gonna work well yeah I have the same feeling but it's, it's a cool concept nevertheless Welcome to chat, like Mandalorians by the way. I like Mandalorians. I like Mandalorians too. Yay, this is the way, Mandalorian. Okay, cool. Um, nice, so this is it. Uh, I don't think we can vote yet. I mean, there is no voting. It, it's gonna be crowd, uh, what I'm talking about. It's gonna be crowdfunded. It's gonna be crowdfunded. So we're gonna pay with our own money. Hey, hey. Alrighty, moving on. Good stuff, good stuff. Um, I think it's gonna be a great year for LEGO. Reap fin financial funds? Yes. Yep. So I'm not gonna come back to this because I had the, the tab open, but... Um, this is the brick set statement, actually. Be even though Justin was able to convince LAN uh, network to, to allow text-based rumors and all this stuff, so basically that big drama of restricting uh, YouTubers, LAN members, whatever it was that I talked about for a few weeks now, uh, ended with some with just the goods input and and being able to convince LAN members to allow people to talk about text-based rumors. However, Brickset, I think. Uh, let me just read the statement real quick because uh, I think they actually changed their minds. But I've been reading other recognized LEGO fan media websites this week. You might have noticed that many of them have started publishing rumors about summer set releases. The reason of this is that LEGO a engagement team just changed the rules about that, what we can publish and cannot publish, and while we are still not permitted to publish confidential images, the others of dubious provenance, and others of dubious uh, provenance, we are now allowed to report text-based rumors if we wish. Okay, yeah, that's the basically summary. 
The change has been made primarily for the benefit and the insistence of YouTubers who felt, I mean, remember Brixit is a website in, in, in most cases. They do, I, I think they do have a YouTube channel, but they're a website. Uh, and one of the OG other LAN members as well. Um, YouTubers who felt they were at a disadvantage because non-RLFM channels were reporting on rumors with impunity. However, we have decided to continue not publishing rumored information on Brickset because we generally know with confidence whether rumored information is accurate. Publishing rumors might therefore present, present challenges as we will never publish information that we know to be false. Of course, not publishing false rumors would inevitably confirm which are true and that creates additional difficulties. Good point. Actually, good point. Very, very, very much so. Yes, I agree. Confirming or denying the veracity of information could risk discrediting other fan media outlets, which may innocent, in, innocently publish rumors they believe to be true. Furthermore, uh, verifying rumored information would risk damaging Brix's relationship with the Lego Group, which provides important benefits to the database and our article content and therefore Brickset users. With that in mind, nothing is changing. We will continue to ensure that Brickset database remains up to date and provide comprehensive and accurate news coverage. I see their point actually with that decision. Um, they're, they're big and they, they have to like really be careful. And I think that that point that they made that not publishing false rumors uh, would, would, would bring those true to, to light. Um, right? So, okay, I see that point. It's their choice, it's their decision. It's, it's a very, uh, <clears throat> very like, uh, calculated decision, I, I would say. But, you know, like, yeah, they're right that big, mostly that, that uproar about the rules change was brought by, by YouTubers because YouTubers are getting more rich when it comes to news. And they, there's a plane flying by. Um, and they, well, YouTubers benefit a lot from that. So will you talk about rumors? Probably yes, probably yes. I mean, I'm gonna also like, I always fact check in a way, but I, I, I don't like just go to a random Instagrammer or just go to a random website and just, oh, that must be true and that post it. I usually rely on people who check information also and, and I double check information myself. So I'm, I'm gonna do the same approach as Brickset. Basically, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna talk about text-based rumors, but I'm gonna make sure I'm not um, mistakenly building hype for things that are m totally maybe not true. But you know, at this point, uh, many of those rumor sources uh, and people reporting on them are, in most cases, quite reliable. So I, I think I'm just gonna I'm, gonna I'm gonna keep my I'm gonna actually keep my workflow for searching news. So I'm gonna stick myself to to major news outlets. I'm not gonna deep dive I'm, I'm still not gonna deep dive into like instagrammers or like some forum posts somewhere talking about something i'm gonna still rely on on major uh, news providers and if somebody's talking about it that i can call reliable in my own book then i'm gonna talk about it um uh, yeah falcon fan yeah uh, just to go to also relies on him so let me just say I'm gonna rely on the on the sources I have right now and I've been having for years and it kept me in good standing in my opinion and we've been all well. And also I'm gonna like I'm just gonna keep doing that basically. Yeah, if there's any new source coming to my usage, then I'm gonna make sure that this source is reliable and I'm not gonna just you know just catch random rumors to like be more clickbaity. No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna keep what I'm doing right now. So basically that, that change back from the LAN instead makes me just come back to my previous workflow and be less stressed about it. And that's it. So that's actually nothing's changing for me, actually, uh, if you think about it. You can rate the sets. I'm going to leave that to you. We were, we're, you know what? We're going to be rating those sets from, Bricks, from Bricklink uh, when the, probably when the crowdfunding phase begins. Maybe actually I'm gonna actually crowdfund together with you. So like I'm gonna actually be able to select the sets I wanna support together with you guys on the live stream. Maybe who knows? That's when you're gonna know my rating. Um, boom! Haha, <laughs> that's a cool picture actually. So apparently this big bad boy allow cookies. Okay, fine. Um, 
it was people say that it was supposed to be unveiled uh, on Friday. Well, and people say it was postponed. So we may see an official announcement this coming week. Um, and so that we know right now that Lego apparently did not choose to make Colombia because of, you know, it, it was a horrible accident, right? I guess they, they just want to avoid any controversies, whatever it is. I, I don't think it's, a, it's that big of a deal. I think it's a piece of history and maybe we should honor, you know, the, the history that way. But apparently it's not going to be Colombia. It's going to be Discovery. Um, and as, as, as the article notices, because the LEGO will not be doing the Space Shuttle Columbia, uh, they're gonna miss, actually they're gonna miss the 40th anniversary of the maiden flight of the Space Shuttle Columbia. Um, okay, so cool. So, by the way, announcement is imminent because the set is coming out April 1st. So get your wallets ready. On your marks, you know. Um, oh boy. Apparently it's gonna be a $200 set, creator, expert, um, space model model. I'm, I'm ready, my body is ready, <laughs> you know. So, uh, announcement is imminent, so you're gonna probably see some sort of like a reporting from me this coming week, maybe as early as Monday, actually, like tomorrow. <laughs> um, I know. One set goes through, I have no idea. Do, do we know how many sets are going through this? I will see. I think in, in the first launch, I think there, there were a few sets that were successfully crowdfunded and created. Am I right? Gee, guys, my, my memory is a bit rusty, so l let me know. The first stage, I think, had a few sets successfully crowdfunded and, and made. Am I right? I don't know. Maybe it's gonna be the same this time. Um, yeah. Lego is apparently making the Titanic, so I don't understand why they, they can make Columbia. I know, right? Especially when it's like anniversary of the maiden flight and all that stuff. I have no idea. So we know that it's coming. We know it's coming. That's good. We know it's coming in just 10 days from now. Uh, on April 1st. And we know it's going to be announced this week most likely. So stay tuned. Yeah. 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 Minifig Madness on Twitter. Um... I did vote for some, like Luke Skywalker over Ashoka, Ahsoka. Don't don't judge me. I like Luke. Uh, but yeah, Minifigure Madness, March Madness is going on Twitter at Lego, so you can vote for your favorite minifigures. One shall win. So you go that, do that. Um, we got our... Because of the text-based rumors, <laughs> we can come back to something that we missed in the past. Just real quick, what's up with Marvel this year? So, chat was asking, yes, Shang-Chi, The Legend of Ten Rings, uh, is coming. So, we know that July 9th is gonna be the launch date. Escape from Ten Rings and Battle at the Ancient Village. Two sets at 30 euro. Small sets. Uh, Link to that, so that's coming. Thank you, doggy. Uh, and this is a good part that I missed late lately. So the Infinity Saga sets are coming back. Lego is reintroducing uh, that, that era of Marvel MCU. And well, let's see. Black Panther Dragon Flyer. I think it's again that, that black jet of his, I guess. Uh, Captain and Hydra Face. So that's a small one for 10, 10 euro. That's a 20. So that, that's, that's very tiny, actually. Wow. Um, Endgame final battle set. That's gonna be pretty cool, probably. 90 bucks or 90 euro. But not too big. Look at the price of this. Okay, looking at this alone, this will have big Thanos. 100%. Because the big figs are driving price like crazy. If there's a big fig in the set, you're gonna see such terrible price to piece ratio because of the big fig. Always and forever. Thanos. And maybe, maybe that, maybe, maybe two, because that price is crazy. Maybe two, maybe that Obsidian guy, that Thanos like um, sidekick monster, you know, that one, the one that's fight was fighting Doctor Strange and Iron Man in the beginning of of um, Endgame, or like Infinity War. Sorry, Infinity War. Uh, Benatar, big one, big Benatar, 
from Guardians of the Galaxy. Wow. 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 Oh. 150 bucks Benatar model. So we had a playset. And I think it's gonna be kind of like a UCS situation here. Yes. So I, I think it's gonna be the UCS sort of... Well, Marvel model. So the likes of Hulkbuster or the Helicarrier. Yes. And a small sanctuary too. 30 bucks. But yeah, this one makes me hyped. I have the, the playset Banatar. I do have that one, the, the orange one. Um, so I want I want a big model. Yes. Oh, the Black Panther ship was the Talon trend? Okay. Okay. Captain America said Cap and the Hydra agent. All right. Good. And the, this one, Iron Monger. So that, okay, so that guy was Iron Monger, right? The, the, the big guy? So maybe he's in this set. It's also, no, I don't know. Iron Monger was the big dude with like the, the freaking, like, giant, like, hammer or something. Broston, you get all the rumors. <laughs> Obadiah Stone? Okay. Pepper Potts, that's awesome. Yeah, so Benatar would be awesome. Um... There is a set from Disney Plus lineup, and nobody knows if that's gonna be from WandaVision or Winter Soldier and the Falcon. There's gonna be a $35 set from something Disney Plus. Probably WandaVision. Probably. I mean, at least one set has to be made from WandaVision. Come on, right? Uh, Spider Man No Way Home sets. Three sets. Uh, 20, 20, and 40 bucks. Right on. The Eternals, I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's not even a rumor at this point. <laughs> Lego messed up there on their own uh, turf. So yeah, we know about everything about this. <laughs> Along with... <laughs> like, this was the funniest... Th <laughs> this was the funniest thing that happened, I think, recently. Like, Lego just like straight up freaking posting a full-on catalog page. <laughs> about, like, everybody was like, what, Eternals? We don't even know if this movie is coming or not. <laughs> I mean, we know it's coming, but it was it was the funniest thing ever. Lego just printing this out, like, look, like, see? We're way ahead of you guys, no rumors, we're just gonna print it out. Who needs rumors when you can just show everything? <laughs> that was the funniest thing. I love this this mishap from Lego, but we don't we know everything about this. And they, they by the way, the current catalog is out, the actual Easter catalog is out, and the sets are no longer there. <laughs> so... Promo bricks from Technic? Okay, let's look at that. Do we have new info? I've been streaming for way too long today, but I knew it's gonna be a long episode. Um, new sets from Technic. Promo bricks. I think we talked about it, actually. It's not in the... Dude, like, if it's not in the recent articles, I'm just looking through. Um, we are the rumors. Daniel, Daniel, we, we totally talked about it, like, a few weeks ago. Before the restrictions and everything, like... It's it's not an, uh, it's not a new article. It's, it's old. Yeah, I, I'm just going back and back and back and... I'm certain we talked about it. <clears throat> yeah. All good, all good. Yeah, I'm just going through the old articles and like going as much as February, but I, yeah, we, we totally talked about it. Um, so we got the rumors for Marvel. Thanks, Alan, from thebrickfan.com. Big shout out. Harry Potter, we can talk about too, right now, I guess. Uh, girl's Toilet, Moni Myrtle's uh, Bathroom, small 20 set, Hogwarts extension of some sorts, uh, 40, Hogsmeade, 70. A Hogwarts castle with any nothing, uh, no information. Maybe um, we may have talked about it. Um, Advent calendar, we knew about it. This is this is something like there's another big Harry Potter set coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good. This one might be interesting. Yeah, I'm looking at the big stuff. So yeah, this is what we don't know yet, like any any details. So. Yo, 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 this, uh, wh what can this be? What can this be? What do you guys think? A Quidditch? Maybe a Quidditch stadium? I don't know. It's it's gonna be a flagship, like the Diagon Alley or, or the, the Hogwarts Castle. 
What can that be? I would love to have like a model of Azkaban. Like a big Azkaban. With the mentors flying all around. Like, that would be amazing. You guys feel me? Azkaban? Like big Azkaban model? Oh, it's the big three-headed dog? Broston, where are you getting, getting those rumors from? That's like straight up leaks. <laughs> Don't get me in trouble. Um, Gringotts? Oh, maybe Gringotts. Okay. We'll see. Okay. This is good news, actually. Like, look at that. Toys R Us is making another comeback in the US, apparently. So they did... Okay, so here's the story. They did open a few, uh, like, pop-up stores in Texas, apparently. But they... Well, COVID hit and they closed again. Um, but some... I, I think there's a new brand that acquired Toys R Us brand. And, like, the Jeffrey and the Giraffe brands and all this stuff. WHP Global acquires True Kids, the parent company for Toys R Us. So they're like, yeah, there are two pop-up stores in Texas. Um, yada, yada, yada. COVID closed everything again. So we missed Toys R Us. Uh, actually, Alan, the brick fan, was working in Toys R Us. He was an employee. Um, so he knows more like, uh, he, he's more like connected to it. But apparently there's a rumors that they're gonna be reopening in the US, but but using a different format for stores. So no more big box stores, apparently, that's what I heard. And more like a boutiques, more like Lego store, mall, upscale mall situation. Like Lego stores in the US are more like in upscale malls in right now. So like small select, uh, you know, uh, boutique store format. Toys R Us were like big box, you know, get your toys right here everywhere. Uh, I would say they would succeed if they would open like small like boutique style mall stores. I would see that would be um I would say that would be a more successful model than big box Toys R Us. Uh yeah. Green Gods might be coming because they teased the white dragon in the in a book. Oh. Hogwarts Express like adult model, yes. With like the nine and three quarters. Um King's Cross station? Yes. Yes, absolutely. Like a big, like a, like a type of a Emerald Knight <clears throat> uh, train set, right? Or even bigger, like a, like a big locomotive, like a, okay. Hogwarts Express, like the, the crocodile locomotive. Boom, from Creator, like ching, with like a, like a display piece, like a display stand of a piece of track from the King's Cross station. Boom, instant money for Lego. I want that. Right? Don't you guys think? All right, local news. Legoland California is reopening April 1st, which is nice. I've been going there for the shop because the shop remained open and they, they, they have a good stock of sets, even better than Lego stores some, sometimes during the pandemic. So, uh, yeah, so there's that. Good stuff. I mean, stuff is people vaccinate, stuff is reopening. Good things are happening, okay? So it's all good. Um, all right, so let's move to Lego Ideas, like real quick, because we talked about Lego Ideas, you know, about all that Brickling stuff, which is a big deal this week, but we, surprisingly enough, we only have um, two projects that gained attention, the bowling alley, as I mentioned, there's a bowling alley in the, <clears throat> in that Brickling program, but there is one more by Lego Paradise, congratulations, um, and yeah, there is that. So awesome, a working one. So I wonder if it's gonna like, oh yeah, I think it's gonna actually capture the, the pins, the bowling pins and, and re reset them, is that it? That is so cool. There is some sort of mechanism, yeah. Does he have a video? No, okay. Congrats. That's a lot of, <laughs> it's like, that's like 43 projects right now in that current review stage. Give a Mike a like yeah. Did I make, the, did I mention the sponsors? Hey, forgot the sponsors. Oh my God, they're gonna kick me out from the program. Straight from Poland. Coming from Poland, this company, Cool Factor. I don't know, these guys just reached out to me and like, hey, can we sponsor you? I'm gonna, we're gonna give you your, the name for the channel and people can pay three, 299 or three bucks, round it up by a cent. To get cool emojis, a fancy name badges and all that stuff. I'm yet to schedule a members only live stream. I'm do sorry about the delay, but there's gonna be a member only live stream 
once I get my weekends back in a more regulated fashion. <laughs> so I, go, I hope you guys don't mind waiting, but we're gonna make start making like regular, just like Bricks and Coffee, we're gonna start making regular uh, members only live streams once I get my schedule right. So that's coming. I, I, do, I do apologize for the delay, but it's, it's, it's coming, yes. Thank you for the sponsors. You can also use Super Chat if you want to support my work and here and just buy me more coffee because I'm actually on the last last few uh, scoops of coffee for this morning. So if you want to use Super Chat for that, highly appreciate it. Anyway, um, yeah, the violin also reached 10,000. Yes. Uh, uh, by Samuel Ho, yes. 10,000 supporters, welcome to the club. Congratulations. Uh, a lot of music-based sets lately, am I right? We had the, the jazz quartet, we had the uh, the piano as I as already um, created set, right? Uh, and now we have the violin. Very, like, it's, it's, it's sizable and beautiful, like, I love the photography, actually. Very cool. Like, you know, I'm not, like, a big fan of the instrument itself. Uh, I would love more, like, a, like, I don't know, like, a giant model of like a Stratocaster guitar, for example, that would be amazing. But still, I can see a lot of this being, uh, you know, very good displayable piece overall. The bowling alley would be amazing, yeah. So yeah, we got that one, of course, and yeah, I think that's gonna be it for the news. There is one more article I do have. But it has pictures, and I think those are leaked pictures, so I, I don't wanna talk about it but it's about the the Star Wars busts that are incoming which were rumored in the past it's about Darth Vader and the probe droid um, and so I think some some YouTube channel uh, that's actually affiliated with Lego leaked those pictures in their thumbnails or something and we had a first look at how this is gonna look like Darth Vader and the probe but I, I i don't want to show it because those are actual pictures that might have been marked as a, as a full-on leak um right okay that was fun how much I, I now i'm checking the time i've been streaming it's gonna be crazy hold on i gotta take a look oh not too bad actually one hour 14 i thought i was going for like two hours or something that was quicker than i thought yeah those were leaked yeah so i'm i'm i'm, I'm not showing these yeah. My coffee is lukewarm, which is okay. I mean, come on. All right, guys, that was fun. Um, let me just check if there's anything new that came out as we were talking. I don't think so. Is there anything new I can catch up on? Yeah, but yeah, but yeah. Most Isley Cantina available on Amazon right now. Huh. That's from Brickfan. Welcome video, welcome pack review. Mm. Yeah, this is like, whatever. Yeah, like, like a press badge, VIP pass, backstage pass, whatever. News is dropping soon. What, what news? I'm gonna keep an eye. Trent, back to work. You're working on Sunday. Good for you, man. I mean, hard work pays off, right? Thank you so much for coming, everybody. Thank you for the support. Appreciate the super chat from Nathan Briggs uh, for the support, you guys. Big, 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 big everything for you, just for watching, just hanging out with me, supporting the channel any way you want. Looney Tunes, oh, right. That's gonna be announced soon, am I right? Yes. Yes, that's gonna be probably soon. Mm -hmm. Brick Clicker, okay. Yeah, noise. Um, is there anything new? Just trying to keep my, keep the official sources up. Yeah. Club hype, yes, for all you guys supporting me, super chats, anything you do for me, I appreciate it very much. Helps a lot, you don't even imagine. Uh, okay. So yeah, probably Looney Tunes will be dropping soon. Film before a live studio audience. <laughs> yes. Yes, okay guys, I mean, you know, we're like, that I have a handler, like the guy just walks around the studio and just like, applause. You know, he just does that all the time. Yes. No no buttons pressed, I, I swear. No buttons pressed. Oh, the Martian guy from Looney Tunes leaked like last week? Oh, we get Marvin the Martian. Nice. 
My fa one of my favorite characters. Oh, I'm gonna blow up your planet. Let me disintegrate you. He wasn't laughing, he was always like very serious. No, he had like this accent of like, Hello. He, he was like, like muffled a bit. I shall disintegrate your rabbit. I, I, I gave him make his accent. He was like, he was more like, I shall disintegrate your rabbit. He was more like, like stuffed nose dog. May 1? Oh, uh, CMFs for Looney Tunes are May 1st. Nice. Yeah, I'm gonna wait for the official reveal and then probably make a video about it. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, looking forward. Mm -hmm. If they don't clap, you get the whip. Yes. Oh, I, I should make like a whip sound. I, I only have this. Uh, where is this one? Oh, I have like... It's like a whip, but more like a... High five. <laughs> Sounds like a whip, actually. Yeah, uh, those were like the Looney Tunes CMFs were, were rumors. Wow, like, oh my God. Like we talked about it like middle of 2020 or something. I don't know. Like it's been so, so much, such a long time ago. Um, do we know, do at least, do we at least know how many? Uh, 12 or, or less? Guys, before we have any official announcements, before anything, before like, don't look at the leaks or anything. Like, I, I don't know anything. Okay, so I'm just assuming. 12, probably, a 12 pack, 12, 12 series, 12 minifigures in the series. Uh, well, Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, Elmer, um, probably, well, we know the Marvin the Martian, uh, Yosemite Sam, uh, Porky, hopefully, <laughs> that's how Fox, you know, uh, Sylvester and Tweety, hopefully, maybe, maybe Sylvester with like a Tweety uh, as, a, as an accessory. Uh, as like a like a small mold, like a little birdie. Uh, I I see Tweety as this like mini like stuffed toy mold of, of sorts. Um, maybe the 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 roast the rooster. Maybe the grandma from Sylvester and Tweety. Maybe what else can be there? Well, Daffy Duck, Bugs Bunny, obviously. Porky store. Okay, so Porky is there. Uh, who else was there? Uh, Willy the Coyote. I mean, come on. And and the, the Roadrunner. We gotta have those. We, we, I, I, I mean, I, I won't buy this if there is no Coyote. My favorite character. Like, <laughs> come on. And the, like, Coyote has to come with, I don't know, like a Acme Dynamite or Acme, like, Anvil or something. We have seen no leaks, Lego. We don't even know what leaks are. Please don't demonetize this video. Please, no. Yeah, we did the coyote. Yes, <laughs> I would love. I, I I want this guy so bad. Um, and the roadrunner, obviously. Um, hey, Sai, how you doing, guys? Welcome, welcome, guys. Thanks for coming. I'm gonna be in for, for a few more minutes. Just wanna like chat a bit. Um, coyote is mandatory. I wonder why YouTube is hiding your your message. I'm not sure why. Um. All the characters who have not been cancelled or become cultural incest. <laughs> That's the stupidest thing lately, like the cancel culture and I don't want to even talk about it too much, but like that Dr. Seuss controversy, like people just like getting too political about things that we were growing up with or just were normal for years and now they're not like... Pepe. <laughs> yeah, he got cancelled as well, the, 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 the skunk. I don't know, but he wasn't, he wasn't, wait, he was not uh, Looney Tunes, was he? No, he, was he Looney Tunes? Speedy Gonzalez, yeah, the mouse. Yeah, I, I'd like to see this one as well. Lola and Pepe. Michael Jordan, come on, <laughs> from, from the Space Jam, yes. I would see the Granny could be a minifigure as well, Granny. Um, Elmer, be very, very quiet. <laughs> I'm hunting rabbits today. <laughs> yeah, is there anybody else? Yeah, Lola was the female bug bunny. That was Lola.
in a way cancel culture is not too bad because in the end oh i didn't read <laughs> um yeah there's a bunch of characters i mean looney tunes is such a big um such a big ip it's yeah they can they can make a lot of stuff so, okay so so uh pepe was was in yeah for some reason i thought he was in tom and jerry universe i'm not okay, whatever the tom and jerry is much smaller like character base for sure Oh, the big red hairy monster, that the one from that like scary um, Bugs Bunny episodes. He was like living in this like Dracula's castle. <laughs> that was funny. But yeah, Yosemite Sam would be awesome. Um, Foghorn Leghorn, yes, the rooster. Like I forgot his name. Yes. Uh, gee, like is there was there anybody else that I missed? Like maybe we just selected all the characters. Looney Tunes characters. Anybody? Um, Looney Tunes characters, maybe. Oh, sorry, hit the microphone. Uh, characters. So we have... Do -do -do. Looney Tunes characters. Okay, Wikipedia has a... Oh boy, no pictures though? What? Not too many actually. Oh, Taz! The devil! Taz the devil, yes! I, I I saw that before I saw your comment, Coffee Hand Productions. T Tasmania, yes! I mean, come on! That's like my best impression of Taz ever. Um... Taz, Willy Coyote, yeah, um, hold on, I, I got some pics. Hold on, oh, sorry, I'm, I keep hitting the microphone, I'm so sorry. Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, Pepe Le Pew, um, Tweety, Porky, Foghorn Leghorn, Elmer Fudd, we met, yeah, Yosemite, Sylvester, Marvin the Martian, Taz, Speedy Gonzalez, The Granny, yeah, his the frog is the mission like it's so, such little known character. We had the witch, which is also less known character. Cecil the turtle, he was always racing Bugs Bunny and, and winning. Remember, that was like a bunch of cartoons with that. Oh, this guy! It's like oh, but wait, wait, I'm gonna. It's like like a bit of a cocky um, hawk. He was like I think he was in the cartoons with with uh, the the rooster. He was like this like I'm gonna I'm gonna get him I'm gonna get him. He was like this little like tough guy. Um, Roadrunner, and those are, yeah, those are less known. Oh, the dog! The dog from the Rooster cartoons, yes. Barnyard Dog, Hector, Charlie the dog, he was weird. Pete Puma, Cool Cat, I don't know these. Like, I, okay, I know him, but I don't know this one. Lola, there was a Sylvester Jr. for uh, for a while. That's an old character, Beans, Buddy, the Summer. Oh, yeah, that was like, yeah, Penelope, uh, Pepe's, like, love affection. Petunia Pig was there. Oh, the Beaky Buzzard, he was like, yeah, he was in cartoons with Bugs as well, in older ones. Come, yeah, that was, those are those are too little known. No, those are past, I think, past, like, Taz. We are not getting anybody else. Like, those are less known characters. The Three Bears, that was, like, a small uh, series. Piggy was, like, looked like Mickey Mouse, that was funny. Uh, yeah, the kangaroo, these guys, Spike, and yeah, but I'm, I'm getting too far right now. Like this, like white monster, it was like a red one too. I'm getting too far. Like it, they're not gonna make it to the minifig series. But yeah, we, we have at least, uh, you know, we have uh, one, two, three, four. I don't think they're gonna. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We're getting 12 under, uh, until Speedy, so I think uh, un, uh, like Granny can be there too, but like 12 characters is like the main crew, like anything beyond, okay, and Willy, I mean Coyote has to be there, Coyote has to be, and the Roadrunner has to be there, pretty much, 100%, so some, somebody from this pack will not be here, probably Pepe will not be there, um, but I think we're gonna get the, yeah, Coyote, so somebody has to go from this pack. Nasty Kanasa is a well-known character. I don't recognize as, as much. Robin Hood Daffy cracked me up. Yeah, it was funny. 
Right on. Okay, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna be heading out slowly. Uh, yeah, can't wait for that news. I think it's gonna be pretty fun. Can't wait for those guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for coming over. I appreciate everything you guys do for me. Thank you for the super chats. Thank you for, for the support, for memberships. You guys are awesome. Thank you for everything. Um, super polite squirrels. Okay. I like, I don't remember half of these, honestly. Like, it's been a while since I watched any of these cartoons. But yeah, some of these were amazing. Daffy Duck is a must and Bugs Bunny is a must, pretty much. I mean, they're like the two main characters. Thanks for the great show. Thanks. Have a great day. Yes, you guys keep, keep it awesome. Thank you, members especially. I mean, you guys are all equally awesome. Uh, and members are as awesome. So thank you for joining, for everything. All the uh, green names, Trent, Zaragath, Strid, MyBricks and me, you guys are amazing. Thank you for your support. Broston, Coffee Hand Production, Spanish Inquisition, uh, Mahan, anybody I didn't name, always and forever. Roland, Tim, uh, Coffee Hand Productions. Oh wow, so many of you. A lot of people watching today, so I appreciate it. Sayo Connor was here for a second as well. Uh, prepare for the random and unexpected. I <laughs> didn't see that in the chat. Uh, wow, thank you guys. Spanish Inquisition, nobody expects you ever. Right on. You guys keep rocking, keep awesome. I'm gonna actually post... You guys made me do it. I will post the uh, Winnie the Pooh review today, in a, probably in an hour from now. I'm gonna schedule it for like maybe an hour from now, so... I don't wanna like cannibalize the stream with uh, a fresh review, a fresh video, so I'm gonna wait a bit. So this like get processed, the stream gets processed and posted on YouTube, and then I'm gonna post the um, the review, which is ready to go, pretty much. Stay awesome, thank you guys, you stay awesome. Another great stream, appreciate it. Thanks for everything, yeah. My pleasure guys, my pleasure. Glad to be able to uh, have fun with you every, every Sunday morning. Uh, it really, I love these streams because uh, they're not too work intensive, which is nice. I mean, I gotta, I gotta keep my pace, but also the streams make me on top of everything. Like it's actually, I'm catching up with you guys as I speak. I find out about news. I, I prepared the news before the night before, but I, I, I just, whatever you see, my reactions are like, I just see the title, but I don't go deep into the articles. I just read them together with you actually. So those streams are very fun for me. I hope they are fun for you. Great stream, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you guys, love you all. Big, one one more big round of applause. Thank you. For everybody. Awesome! <laughs> cool. There we go. Rafał, dzięki. Witaj również w klubie. Yeah, stay awesome. Keep, keep your weekend vibes up hopefully it's gonna be great uh, stay tuned for a review coming out on my channel in a few moments for the winnie and see you all next week yes just as street says see you all uh, oh and a uh, little stream schedule for this week i don't know i hoped i'm gonna stream at least one building set by the way but after winnie i do not really have anything besides some technique Maybe uh, I have some technique sets to build, but I don't know if I'm gonna do them and Probably the next big set might be the shuttle uh, If it like okay, so the announcement might be this week very imminent So and we know up at this point we kind of know it's gonna come out on April 1st, so I think I'm gonna prepare to buy it uh, Oh the ma we have the Mustang. Yes, I forgot about the Mustang You guys know what you know what we may do the Mustang actually Thank you for reminding me. I, I, I completely forgot I have it, actually. No no joke. I was like, I, I because I put it in my closet and I when I see it on the on the like by the wall, there's a wall of boxes there. I see it, but I forgot I have it. So yes, ma we might do the Mustang. <clears throat> but but besides that, I'm gonna try to to schedule the shuttle when it when we know it's gonna be coming out. But it's like 10 days from now, so it's not next week. This week, right? I know, how dare I? I don't know. I'm like spoiled at this point. Like, I'm, I'm spoiled, I have too much Lego. You know what, because maybe I built the Mustang in the past, so maybe I wasn't too eager to build it, but I'm, I'm just, I, I have this peace of mind that I have it. So I can build it at any point in time. So yeah, that's actually good for maybe to build this weekend and get into the, the set that I love so truly. How dare I, I know. Right on, all right. I think my kids are freaking out in the garden. Anyway, I gotta go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, love you all. 
peace out stay awesome and uh till next time ta-ta